What's the matter? No, oh, uh, it's nothing. Oh, sorry about that, buddies. Have a good night. Uh, what the heck was that? Yeah, it's so weird. At this time, Brain's usually fast asleep and as quiet as a mouse. So what could have shocked him awake like that? Well, he did say that it was nothing, so hopefully it is. Maybe it was just a weird one-time occurrence that will never happen again. I don't know about that. No, it wasn't. I didn't. You, you don't understand. Well, Hart, you were partly right. It didn't happen again. It got worse. Gee, now I'm really worried. Uh, you organs sure are talkative at this time of night, having a slumber party. Well, at least I'm keeping my internet life on lockdown with Private Internet Access VPN. Wait, what's that? It's like a superhero for our internet connection. Protects us from hackers, ISPs, and even lets us access shows from other countries. Seriously? How? Imagine being able to watch all the Marvel movies on Netflix, no matter where you are. Or getting the best gaming speed. No lags, just smooth playing. Hey, what are you all talking about now? Just sharing how Private Internet Access is like our personal bodyguard for the internet. PIA protects you you from the prying eyes of hackers, internet service providers, and others that can view your personal data. Sounds interesting. What else can it do? Well, it hides our IP address and encrypts our internet connection so our digital life stays private. And you know how some websites are off limits in certain regions? PIA lets us access them with just a click. Plus, it's got this cool feature where we can use it on an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. Total protection. Wow! And you know what? By clicking my link in the description, you can get 83% off on private internet access. And you also get four extra months completely for free. What are you waiting for? Awesome. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, sleeping. Oh, have a good night. Did I miss something? Doctor, something's wrong with Brain. Brain's busted or something. Last night he woke up screaming, but then fell right back to sleep. And now he's talking loudly to himself while still asleep. I don't get it. Hmm. I think I know what's up, but I'll need to explain sleep and dreams to you all so you stop being confused. Ooh, sounds like another long episode. You betcha. Sleep is an essential function of the human body that allows both the mind and body to recharge. It helps the body remain healthy and stave off diseases. What happens when we don't get enough sleep? Well, first of all, brain won't function properly. Lack of sleep can impair concentration, thinking clearly and processing memories, and chronic sleep deprivation can lead to attention lapses, reduced cognition, delayed reactions, mood shifts, and could lead to serious medical conditions like heart disease. No, no! High blood pressure, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and even early death. Death, always with the death. But Brain's been getting a lot of sleep lately, Doctor. How come he's still suffering? If it was as simple as Brain getting more sleep, this wouldn't be a long episode now, would it, Hart? Oh, sorry. I'll have to explain the stages of sleep next. See, when Brain sleeps, he's going through four stages. The first three stages are known as non-rapid eye movement stages. Stage one marks the transition between wakefulness and sleep. Stage two is characterized by deeper sleep, as your heart rate and breathing rate continue slowing down, and the muscles become more relaxed. Ooh, ooh, I know about that part. Heart, stop interrupting. Ahem. Sorry. Where was I? Ah, yes, stage three. This part plays an important role in making the body and mind feel refreshed and alert the next day. But the stage we're really interested in is the final one, rapid eye movement. So exciting. Shh. Rapid eye movement occurs about 90 minutes after falling asleep and is when dreaming occurs. Dreaming? What the heck is that? Now who's interrupting? Dreams are something only brain can experience. Aw, no fair. Dreams are one of the most fascinating and mystifying aspects of sleep. Despite considerable research and advances in scientific knowledge, there is much that remains unknown about them. Ooh. Dreams are images, thoughts, or feelings that occur during sleep. Visual imagery is the most common, but dreams can involve all of the senses. Some people dream in color, while others dream in black and white. Wait, wait, wait! You mean to tell me that Brain has his very own movie experience while he's sleeping, and only he can see it? No fair! I want to dream too! Anyway, why does Brain even dream at all, Doctor? That's the mysterious part. Experts still debate to this day about why people dream. Theories include building memory, processing emotion, mental housekeeping, instant replay, and incidental brain activity. Dreams seem so wonderful. So how come they're causing Brain to glitch out like that? What are you? No, that's not... Come back! Now to the juicy part. What Brain's experiencing are nightmares. Oh, I have no idea what those are, but they sure sound scary. 
Nightmares are bad dreams that cause someone to wake from sleep. Just like what happened to Brain last night. While they're not normally a big deal, frequent nightmares will interfere with a person's sleep and cause the negative effects I mentioned earlier. Oh no, poor Brain! And poor us if we don't put a stop to this soon! Doctor, why does Brain keep having these nightmares? One reason for frequent nightmares is poor sleep quality, but since you've already said he's been sleeping well lately, it must be something else. Which is... Stress, worries, and fears in daily life. Something from the human's experiences is causing Brain to have these constant nightmares. So we need to figure out what's causing this stress and get rid of it, so Brain can go back to getting a good night's sleep. You got it, Heart. So, how do we find those out exactly? The only real way is asking Brain himself. <laughs> right on time. Uh, doctor, what are you doing here? Brain, we know why you keep waking up in the middle of the night. Huh? You've been having nightmares, buddy, and we're here to put a stop to them. Uh, how exactly? According to the doctor, something in the human's daily life is causing him stress, so we need to find out what it is and put a stop to it. Oh, uh, no need. I'm sure it'll all work itself out. No, Brain, we need to fix this now. You've been having poor sleep quality because of these nightmares for a few days now. If this keeps up, you'll feel worse and worse, and even affect the rest of us. Please, Brain? Oh, do I gotta? Yes! Fine, the human and his best friend had an argument a few days back. Ooh, drama! Shush, Liver! What happened, Brain? I actually don't even remember what started the argument. I think we were discussing the correct pronunciation of an anime character's name, and it devolved into a violent argument. I have no idea what the heck you're talking about. Well, then I guess you're going to have to apologize, so you can end this fight once and for all. But I can't do that. If I give in and apologize, then that proves he was right, but he isn't. Brain, the human's long-lasting friendship with his best friend is much more important than the pronunciation of an anime character's name. The fact that you're experiencing constant nightmares night after night after fighting him proves how valuable this friendship is to both of you. Heart's got a point, Brain. But, but it's been several days now, almost a week. What if he doesn't want to talk to me anymore? He will. If he was really your best friend, you know he feels just as bad about all this as you do and is raring to talk again. You know something, Heart? I think you're right. Hart's actually a really good therapist. I better watch my back. Hmm, I wonder if the human made up with his best friend yet. Well, let's ask. Hey, Brain! Shush, Liver, look! I guess they did make up. Aw, that's so sweet. But then Brain's hogging all of those sweet dreams all to himself. Makes me want to get back at him by messing with his sleep. Liver, no! 